Hello, AC Universe, and welcome to Canada Crossing. My name is Danny, and today we are back on our island of Fire Cove, working on the Elegant Core Island. Now, I had this one space left over. The island is almost complete, which I know you've probably heard me say in the last couple of videos, but it's still true. It's almost complete. And I had this one kind of rectangle piece of land, and I didn't really know what I was gonna do. I was toying with like a rock flower garden, but I thought this was really, I, I was trying to make it an elegant city core. That was the whole process of this island. So I wanted to continue with that. So we were gonna put up another building and I decided to make an outdoor garden center. Now it is a spring island. It's taking place during cherry blossom season, which is in early April in the game. So I thought it was appropriate to have a garden center because that's when people are doing their gardening. So anyway, that's what we went with. So to start off, I wanted to have a building because most garden centers have an indoor area as well. So of course it's just a little building because I didn't have a lot of space. And I thought it would be kind of, you know, place where you could buy some maybe more indoor plants or whatever. And I decided to put this evergreen ash on top of it. So you'd see kind of a tree sticking out the top of the building when you're looking at it, which I think is a really cool way to kind of show that there are more plants or trees within the building. So, And then I'm just going to put these trees here to kind of cover up the edges of the building to make it look a little bit more natural. And I think I quite like how it turned out. I haven't got a chance to play with a lot of the castle and medieval um, building pieces yet because they haven't really suited this island so I've gotten a chance to put a few pieces here and there so every ch chance I get I'm I'm all over it because obviously they're amazing additions to this game so now it's gonna be just placing down the path just to mark out the area where the garden center is gonna go you've seen me use this cobblestone path a couple times already in the island and I thought it was perfect for a garden center, definitely suits the area. So that's what we're gonna go with here. Now just some island updates. Um, you can see that I'm toying with changing my main path, if you can see behind and to the side here. So this is Colin.Crossing's path. Of course, one of the, the premier path makers of Animal Crossing, you can find him on Instagram. I'll be sure to link him in the description below, so check that out, along with all the creator codes for this island will be in the description. So I placed down the path to kind of see how I feel about it. I really love the path, don't get me wrong. I'm just not quite sure if it's right for the island yet. So I had a white brick path before and I don't know. I honestly don't know which way I feel about it. So let me know. I'm gonna put a screenshot of the white brick that I had before in case you can't remember. Let me know what you think. Do you like this new cherry blossom Colin Crossing path or should I stick with the white brick? I'm honestly torn. I love them both. So yeah, I don't know. I was gonna do a poll, but if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that polls never work out for me. So I'll just ask you, which I basically, I guess is a poll, but oh well. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so now I'm just fencing off the area. I did have to bring the river a bit smaller, as you saw back then. And just to kind of add a full row of fence, I did change up the fence to add the hedge in between every, well, I guess it's every third. Um, so I like to, if I mix up the fencing like that, I do like to do like two to one. So don't just go like one, iron and one hedge or whatever kind of do it a little off so do like two of one one of the other to mix it up a bit it just makes it look a little bit nicer so that's there, there's my advice for the day um so that's what i did there and of course we're gonna have a party arch to enter our garden center and then we're really just gonna start filling in the garden center with a bunch of the flower items and plant items we have so many more options now and i really wanted to take advantage of that and I think it turned out really cool. So yeah, it's getting hard to believe that this island actually is almost done. The next video 
will be the final island tour. The next video of this island that you'll see will be the final island tour. I can't believe it. We are actually done it. There's been, I feel like I've been working on it forever, so I shouldn't say that. But I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this island. It's one of my favorite that maybe I've ever made, if I can say that. But I'm really happy with it. It's, you know, it's been my baby. I'm so sad to let it go, but I'm excited to move on. Um, we've already started a couple other islands. I've got a forest core island that we've uh, done on stream. And there'll be more videos of that coming out soon. And also, we just started in our very last stream our brand new island, which is going to be a Galaxy Core Space Core island. Super outside my comfort zone, but super excited for it. It's going to be unlike anything we've ever done here on this channel. So if you're interested, make sure you're subscribed because you're not going to want to miss the ride for that. I think that's going to be our main stream island. We'll probably work a lot of it on stream, but I'll still make the videos as well just to kind of keep everybody up to date because I not, know not everyone is available to watch streams all the time. So, so again, we're just going to place the rest of the plants around. I wanted to have one section that was kind of the trees, the taller plants that you would plant in your yard to grow a tree. So I thought, because that's you always see those in garden centers as well. So I kind of did a row of that, and I really liked how that turned out, actually. Just kind of going two by two with all the different trees. And there was, I mean, there's lots of options I could have picked. I, and I tried to arrange them from, like, tallest to shortest, just so you can kind of still see what they all were. And I think it really, really uh, worked here. And I didn't mind covering the cooler, um, because I had two of them. And I decided to go with two different colored coolers, just because, actually, when you change the color of the outside of the cooler, the plants inside change. So it just gives a bit more variety to the plants, which I thought, I didn't want two things that look exactly the same next to each other. Even though, yes, I can also, I also did that with the greenhouse, the two green greenhouses there, but one is almost completely covered by the covered counters with the plants. So you don't really notice it as much as if you had two exact same things side by side, right? And then I was very excited to learn that you put things on top of these coolers and just kind of adds a bit of height to the area. And actually any way to add more plants was perfect because I, as I was building this, I really realized how actual small this space was. And it was getting really difficult to fit everything I wanted in here. So <laughs> if I could throw some extra things up on the shelf, I was here for it. So now we're just gonna do the last little bit of touch-ups. I liked having the signage because if you've ever worked in retail store, you know there's signage everywhere. If you've ever been at a store, I guess you know there's signage too, but how important it is to customers. So I really wanted to place some of this new signage around. I thought it looks really cool. And then of course the soil and just some last minute little things to kind of fill up the area. Um, again, one of those things I wish I had a bit more room to throw more of those around, but it's, it is what it is, and I'm, I'm quite okay with it. And then the sign, too. I just searched for garden center signs, and that one came up. So we'll put the code in the description below, but I really liked it. and kind of, kind of suits the vibe with my island, too, so I'm quite happy with that. And then this was bugging me that the cache was faced the wrong way, so I did have to pull that out and fix that. And then I'm going to place... One last sign, and then our garden center is pretty much done. Oh, 
All right, so the speed build is complete. Let's go have a look at our garden center. So this is just, I wanted some sort of building because garden centers always have some kind of indoor area. So I thought that looked really cool. I love the tree coming out the top, just um, putting that there. So to, to kind of reference like they, there would be taller trees or whatever growing inside. And then it's a pretty simple garden center, but I think it was pretty effective having the lines up of the the plants you would grow out that would turn into trees in your yards and, and of course the cooler of plants and little greenhouses and then the potted plants and the soil and you know shopping carts and baskets and then the checkout counter and I wanted to kind of keep the theme of the whole island kind of the elegant core city core vibe so I thought it turned out really well I would buy my plants here that's all I'm saying I think I would so don't forget to let me know what you think about the garden center build in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe to Canada Crossing. It really does help out the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.